Well, hello, YouTube channel. This is N7MKY, and I'm bringing you an unboxing of the TN07 My Go To Antenna. I received a call from Bob, the owner, and uh, he told me that uh, production of these things had uh, restarted and that my buy button was now available to purchase the antenna. So, super excited. I hit the button, and within two days, voila, I had the antenna. So I thought it only fair to do a complete unboxing, followed up by a video of setup, and then testing, and then overall likes, pros, hopefully no cons, but nonetheless, it's finally here, and let's take a look. All right, so nice little package here with some E6000, and of course the, looks like uh, plexiglass, top for one of the rods, a TN07 engineering card with the address, as well as Bob's call sign and the phone number to TN07 engineering. And it looks like some extra thumb screws so that if for some reason in the field you lose one probably off the matching device, um, you have some replacements. Not that we ever lose anything in the field. Uh, some nice instructions printed on some really nice paper. It looks like within uh, about nine steps you have the antenna up and running. And uh, some pictures showing you setups, how you could disguise it, including birdhouse and teacups. And then, of course, your limited warranty exclusions, applicable law, and warranty claims. But like most fellow hams, um, usually we don't read the instructions. Um, probably should read those though. <laughs> All right, my go-to antenna looks like a little luggage tag. That's nice, and it's right on the bag, so that if you have any issues, you don't have to have the rest of the stuff. You can just give the company a call. All right, very well designed bag. Good protective flap so nothing falls out. You have your 25 foot wire attaches to one stake and the matching device insulated. Very nice. This is the matching device. Very well constructed. One solid piece. Grounding wire. Protective cap for the connector. I'll have to ask Bob where he gets these. I wouldn't mind having a couple of these for some other gear for sure. Maybe he'll share that with us. And then, of course, your connector for the 17-foot telescopic whip. Very nice. Flagging tape. So if you don't have any cones with you and you're out doing a POTA, you have the ability to flag that 20-foot foot wire, excuse me, the 25-foot wire, so that nobody trips over it. The new and improved stake pounder. Bob has ensured us that uh, we won't be seeing that bulging anymore. I can't remember exactly what he said that he did inside of it, uh, but nonetheless, it's got reflective tape on it, so if you drop it in the dark, being black, you sure wouldn't find it without the reflective tape. Our 25 feet, excuse me, 50 feet of coax from the Wire Man Incorporated, RG58. This must be the Ultra Flex, very flexible. Our two grounding rods. Ground to a nice point. That's a nice little value add. Makes it a little bit easier to get them into the ground. And then, of course, our 25, excuse me, 17 foot antenna. And it even has a little lock washer. Very, very nice. And everything fits just nice and snug. All the pockets are designed for all the pieces of equipment. Not much to it, but uh, really super excited to get this set up. So stay tuned. Next part of the video, setup time. I've got the parts. It's time to get it set up now. 
I've actually taken the liberty because the instructions say to put it about eight inches into the ground. So I've marked the uh, stakes at eight inches and then the matching device is supposed to be at uh, two inches. So uh, just a quick tip, might want to just mark it or use some tape. Uh, don't want to cover up your ground though when you start attaching things. So let's get started. In 7 mky here, got the my go to antenna set up, got the whip on, got my rods 25 feet apart, the wire is nice and taut, and 17 foot stainless steel telescopic antenna is installed and ready to go. Just need to attach some coax, and we're off to the races for testing. Stay tuned. Okay, CQ uh, Principia Amateur Wireless Society, CQ Pause Net, CQ Pause Net. This is Whiskey Bravo 1 Delta listening. Whiskey Bravo 1 Delta N7MKY. Okay, I got somebody really faint in there, really faint. Uh, let me try doing some more filtering and see if I can copy uh, that. Uh, uh, Whiskey Bravo 1 Delta. This is November 7, Mike Kilo Yankee. How copy? Okay, all right. Um, yeah, we got you there that time. Uh, so, November 7, and um, uh, my, my, uh, I didn't write it down. My, uh, I, I just did it there. Uh, November 7, and uh, for some reason I don't have it written down, uh, so uh, come back again uh, November 7th, call and we'll see if we can copy you. Uh, this is Whiskey Bravo 1 Delta. Whiskey Bravo 1 Delta, this is November 7, Mike Kilo Yankee, QSL. November 7, Mike Kilo Yankee. November 7, Mike Kilo Yankee. 50 watts out of Boise, Idaho on a My Go To antenna. Okay, November 7, Mike Kilo uh, Yankee. November 7, Mike Kilo Yankee. 50 watts out of Boise, uh, Idaho. And, uh, and uh, go ahead and uh, transmit a little bit and see if we can communicate. Well, good afternoon, and I hope uh, everybody's copying me well. Testing out the My Go To antenna uh, from TN07 Engineering. I uh, just got it set up and pushing 50 watts through it with uh, the uh, noise filter on, or the, the digital noise filter, on a Yaesu 991 Alpha. 
Um, I'm hearing you pretty good. Um, not too much static and definitely not a lot of uh, noise floor uh, with this antenna. QSL? Okay. Uh, yeah, we did, we did uh, copy most of that. Uh, so it's very nice to hear you in there. And um, we appreciate you uh, checking in. So um, I'm going to hand it over to uh, no, uh, November 9, Yankee November. And uh, we'll have another go around. So Sudan and Elsa, Illinois. Well, hello YouTube. I'm back with my overall impressions of the My Go To antenna. And what can I say? Wow. What an awesome antenna. Put it up in less than five minutes. Had it hooked up to my 991A. Next thing you know, I'm hearing a pause net that's coming in all the way from Chicago. Cranked my power up to 50 watts and they heard me. Not just one, two, but three people in Chicago heard me. Now, that being said, the only con that I have of that whole package and it's just because it's winter time, is the steak pounder just didn't have enough umph in it to get it into frozen ground. But I tell you what, you go to Harbor Freight and you get yourself a $3.49 rubber mallet that's a one pounder, and they go in pretty easy. But other than that, I've got nothing but great things to say. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, everybody at TN07 Engineering. This is an awesome antenna. I hope to do some more testing with it with FT8 and possibly post another video with it actually out doing a POTA. But for now, this is N7MKY, and I really appreciate you watching my video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as I produce more videos, you'll see them. N7MKY, 73.